Hello and welcome back guys. My name is Tom and thanks for coming back to my channel. So today I'm going to bring you a nice tutorial on how to do the no copyright sounds visualization. So actually what it is all about is this moving particle ring which is synced to the music as you can see. Well I'm just gonna pre-render this so that you can actually see how this works. Wait a second. So that you can actually see how it works. So just let it render out a few seconds. I might skip that in the video. Yeah, I think I'm actually not gonna skip it, but we need something around 50 seconds. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, my PC is not the fastest, but I actually wanted to give you a little nice example on how this looks like. So. So there we go. Actually, this is what we are going to create. So first of all, we are going to go and make a new. Now we're not going to make a new project. We're just going to make a new composition. Actually, out of the first one, something around five seconds. Do the resolution as you would like it to do. I have it at full HD, which is 1080, uh, 1090, 1920 by 1080. And yeah. This is actually normal settings I use. So first of all, you got to import any picture for the background. You don't have to do this. You can leave it plain and please don't crash. Please don't crash. Ah, oh, God. Yeah. Okay. It did crash. So, um, actually that is the first thing you want to do. You want to put an image in the background. I'm just going to scale these down a little bit because it's actually too big. And now you have to download this ring, which is actually in my template folder, which I am going to upload. Overlay this ring and you can actually just go to scale for the first and scale it down to your lighting. Like, ah, God damn it! Yeah, scale it down as much as you'd like and place it where you want it to be. I usually do it left. In the original mon uh, no copyright sound, I think it is also left or right. I don't know. You can look it up later on. So this is actually what you want to do. Then go to the overlay modes. If you don't have it, then just press down here. And I personally prefer lighten. What this does is actually everything black gets filtered out and you just see the white circle so this looks actually pretty boring so you might have to colorize this i'm just going to do this with the uh, color vibrance which you can download for free at the video copilot website i'm going to leave you the link down in the description so just drag and drop this on here and you can see we just can adjust our color here i think i'm just going to go for the same blue as i did in uh last thing so actually don't do anything here just leave it at two and this thing turn it down to 0 0.5 and what the f okay now it was actually not what i wanted to do but actually as you can see it gets colored and if we now use any color it looks really good and you can see it actually comes really close to the original one but that's not all, that's just the colorization. So I'm just gonna go back for the blue. And now you go and drag in your song, which I'm gonna do here right quick. And now right click keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. I don't know the shortcuts, but I'm just gonna go right click on it and this might actually take a while if you have a slow PC or a laptop like I have but actually that's it go on here go to effects while holding down uh, control just delete the upper two things and go to both layers and then do this alt click on the stopwatch and then type in linear value the start value you would like to have, um, the end value you would like to have, and the size, which 
this ring should get. So actually, I just did the following. I just got, uh, went to scale, alt click, drag and drop this little squirrely thing onto the slider, and then it automatically, automatically, ah, goddammit, um, enlarges it or, yeah, makes it smaller. Actually, I'm not really satisfied with the placement. This might be better. And yeah, you actually don't need trap code particle part, ah, trap code form for this because I actually gave you the pre-rendered thing. It is just seven minutes long, but you can loop it, so it's not really that hard. And yeah, that's actually all you have to do. Um, just as I said, you can mess around with these settings. I can make it even smaller in the low tones, in the low values, or even bigger. But I don't think that this is necessary. Just stay like this and you will be fine. Actually, you can place your logo right on here. If it is PNG format, then it's really, really great. Then it is perfect. And now just render it out. It might take something around half an hour or up to an hour. In my case, it, it, it takes mainly 45 minutes. But that's actually a lot faster if you... Uh, then if you would do it with the trap code form. So thanks for watching this video. The template is down in the description. Make sure to uh, yeah, leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more weekly tutorials and templates. So thanks for watching. I'm Tom. Have a nice weekend.